What up, Aries? Gonna give it a second. I'm sharing this one on my personal Facebook page because it's it's late night in a Sunday, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a little push on promotion. Oh, I just saw the light up. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some of my energy behind getting this out to people that might need to hear it. Because uh, I know Aries sometimes be going through it and y'all are so used to giving people advice. I don't think you ever get any of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, at the same time, I'm kind of learning how to want to slow my readings down. Sorry, I'm looking at so much. I'll just hook up my lighter. Yeah, but I'm... I didn't want to slow my readings down, maybe take some more time. It's not like I try to go fast. <clears throat> That's just the way my brain is sometimes. So I'm purposefully slowing myself down. Um, light a little candle with jasmine and there's sage just seeping all through the candle, but still... I've done this in a few reads. I feel like I should do it for everyone. I've been on a sage kick lately. Mm. I love the way it smells. So, it's a March 2.0 reading. I'm going to get right into it. And then I'll pull you guys the Oracle card. See if we can get some good advice or insight or guidance for you know, the next two weeks, second half of March. <laughs> March is already halfway through 2021. Feels like it's moving fast. Um, we just experienced a time change too, so everything's a bit off. Got the sacrifice. You might be feeling like the last, like, I'm hearing like four years, a couple of years, you've really given up or lost a lot. That uh, a lot of y'all are spending a lot more time alone. You know, COVID's made us sacrifice a lot of the things we like to do out and about in town. A lot of places are closed. A lot of our favorite spots are like closed, closed, like out of business. But I feel like it's a sense like letting go. Like a lot of areas are having to let go of a certain way of living or person or perspective. Go ahead and get your seven cards for the terror reading. Yeah, there are there things that you need to sacrifice, like that are no good for you, and you know that. You know, sometimes it just doing something you don't want to do, but you know you have to. You can feel like a sacrifice. And um, Aries is very about the self, so I don't think y'all really like the word sacrifice. Like it's almost like a energy of. Stop being stubborn. Like, to submit. So you can't always have it your way, or you can't just go out and do what you want to right now because of COVID. Some of you guys might have to sell something due to finances, and you don't want to. You know? Two of Swords. Yeah, I really feel like this is a this or that scenario, or you're feeling like that. <sighs> and you don't like that. It's almost like you wish you could do both or didn't have to do either. Like, you could go and spend your money on things you want, but then you might not have enough, you know, to pay the bills can't afford to go on vacation even though you're really 
really feeling like you need one because if you go on vacation, you won't have a savings. Strength. Yeah, and it's a hard decision. You could be choosing to be with or not be with a Leo. But whatever this decision is, it's taking a lot of strength for you not to be impulsive and just do what's best for you. To take other people's thoughts into consideration. Either that or, you know, if you're with a Leo, they could not know if they want to leave or stay. And that could be bothering you. I don't really feel like that's the scenario for most though. Four of Wands. Um, this right here leads to like relationship issues. Some of you guys, like I said, it could be like a financial thing. Like you're having financial problems and it's making you feel stuck. Like you can't move forward. Like there might be some kind of great loss if you don't take a loss in some other department. Um, apparently some of you guys could witness an ex getting married that you're still in love with. Um, some of you guys, it's a divorce and, and you're trying to be strong through the divorce and there's kids involved and you know, there's a splitting up of everything in two halves. Hey, hang on, this means new beginnings for everyone in some form or fashion. Some of you guys could be in a relationship and needing to spice it up or like wanting something new. Or that could be the reason for the divorce. But I feel like there's, there's a separation in a family. I mean, even, even a family with like husband, wife, and kids all being quarantined together. There could be a lot of family quarrels. And y'all need your separate spaces in which you can go to to kind of have time with yourself because everyone needs their own personal space that could be like two kids going at it consistently that share a room it's like okay maybe for one night or one day like they need to not because they both need personal space they've been cooped up in the house together and then you're going to school with your kids together if they're not uh doing school at school i think it's optional for some kids page of cups Some of you guys don't know if you want to say something or not say something about having emotions for a younger, fiery type person. I feel like this is, that's a lot for the males and then for the younger female. That could be the reason for the divorce too. Could also be vice versa. An older, you know, woman relationship going for younger male. I'm not biased here. It goes both ways. Five of Wands. Yeah, there's lots of conflict in the home or around you or in this divorce. Lots of fighting. Um, someone could have stepped out. I heard I'm coming to you as a woman, so... You could have found out about cheating from the person that cheated with. And they could come back, like, offering you marriage or a ring, but it's like, I don't know. Like, that doesn't fix what they did. I mean, and it's also like a page offer, so it's like disingenuous for, sh for show. Because they, they know that's what would get you to come back. That's what you wanted. Two of Wands, and there's still like that split decision you made. Yeah, you're fighting with yourself. Should you stay or should you go? There's not like, there's more passion, like adult 
compassion and desire here than, than love. And the King of Cups, the Fool. Yeah, using your love to make a fool out of you. You need to, if this resonates with you, you need to cut that person out if that message resonates with you. You've got better love coming. You don't know it. Or there's someone else that you're interested in. Yeah. They, and you think that that's just out of desire, but show me here that you're looking at it like this. When really, it's a serious offer. It's a page. This is my number. But you gotta think it's Knight of Wands, and then they come in stables. So, so like, it just gets better from there. Uh, I don't know. There's like, there's a lot. There's some people here that are being deceived by a partner in a very manipulative way. Um. I definitely use discernment if you were in a relationship in which someone just proposed to you where it was previously rocky. 